Democrats have retained control of the Senate, dashing the hopes of Republicans to seize power in both houses of Congress. And with one race remaining, where does each party go from here? We're now joined by Niall Stanage, White House columnist at our partners over at the Hill. Uh, Niall, the Georgia Senate race goes to a runoff next month, come December. With Democrats already having secured control of the Senate, what's at stake for both parties with this final race? Well, obviously, Democrats would like to get that one extra seat. It would give them a little bit of a buffer. It would make the president and his party less dependent upon uh, two Democratic senators, in particular, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, who have proven, well, different from the rest of the party, shall we say, in their um, priorities. For Republicans, um, I suppose pride is at stake. I mean, they can't get control of the Senate back, even if they win this race in Georgia. Um, and the key question, I think, Marky, is what effect does this change dynamic have on turnout in this race? That is very difficult to predict exactly. It is possible that Democratic turnout could ebb a little bit because they no longer need this seat to hold on to the Senate. But the flip side is Republicans Republican voters, I mean, may not be quite so eager to come out for Herschel Walker, who's pretty obviously a flawed candidate, whenever there isn't that uh, chance of control of the Senate on the line. And Niall, will Democrats campaign in Georgia on the hopes of slowing any potential stalemates caused by moderate Senator Joe Manchin? Yes, I mean, obviously it would be better for them. In fact, President Biden has already said it would be better from his point of view to have 51 votes than 50. Now, it doesn't have a great bearing on things like defeating a filibuster, which obviously needs 60 votes. But in general, during the first two years of the Biden presidency, it has been a real problem, honestly, for the White House and for Democratic leadership on Capitol Hill to get Senator Manchin in particular on board with various things. Sometimes they have, sometimes they haven't, but it has always taken quite a lot of work. They would rather be spared that trouble if they could be, quite honestly. Uh, and Niall, you and I were on air last night when we learned that Democrats would keep control of the Senate. What direction do you see the House going with Republicans holding the current lead over Democrats? At the moment, you would have to say that there's a greater than 50% chance that Republicans are going to end up with the majority in the House. Now, Democrats aren't out of that battle yet. There is a narrow pathway for them to keep the House majority. But if it is a Republican majority, it will be a very narrow one. That complicates life for the GOP in all kinds of ways, and not least um, Kevin McCarthy, the House Republican leader who will want to become Speaker. He doesn't have very much margin for error if Republicans end up with a two or three seat majority. And in addition, when it comes to passing legislation, obviously every member of his conference will have quite a lot of leverage if it's a tiny majority. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.